In a distant and second-hand set of dimensions, through wavering star mists, see the great Atun. Drifting onwards through space, atop the shell of the great turtle are four giant elephants upon whose broad shoulders rests the Discworld. For the people on the disc, the turtle was a mere hypothesis until one day the island kingdom of Krull whose rimmost mountains project over the rimfall, lowered over the edge a brass vessel containing several astrozoologists. Their mission did indeed prove the existence of the turtle. Unfortunately, owing to a minor malfunction, they were unable to answer an even more fundamental question. What is the sex of the turtle? The remaining astrozoologists are never short of a question. Why does it matter? So, we're gonna look at a turtle's bottom. That won't be very nice, will it? No. Since the failure of the last mission, this vital question cannot possibly be answered without sending a new expedition over the edge of the disk in this. It's a bit small. It will be somewhat bigger. Yeah, but where in the world are you going to find someone stupid enough to go in that? <laughs> Several thousand miles hubworms from the rim in Ankh-Morpork, the disk's oldest city, the ship arriving in its dock is carrying Tufla, the Discworld's first tourist. He is looking forward to all its sights and smells. And of course, no tour would be complete without a visit to the city's unseen university for wizards and its famous Tower of Art. When our story begins, wizards are not very nice. Carrying the final remains of one of their number, the eight heads of the orders of wizardry have demonstrated great powers of survival, because behind every wizard of the eighth rank, there is at least one seventh rank wizard trying to bump him off. Oh, Runlet, he never saw it coming in Otrun. Well, you know what they say, Arch-Chancellor. When a wizard is tired of looking for broken glass in his dinner, he's tired of life. I'm just speculating, obviously. We are gathered here today to pay our respects to old Boonlet, a wizard. I'm not late, am I? Who is that? Rincewind, Arch-Chancellor. Rincewind? Oh! Have him sent to my office in ten minutes. Oh, get on with it, Mother Max. My back's killing me. Uh... Run along, Rincewind. Oh, sorry, Narrowboat. Get off. Mr. Rincewind, there are, as you know, eight levels of wizardry to which the aspiring young, to which the student can aspire. In your not inconsiderable time here at the Unseen University, you have failed to reach even level one. Ah, yes, but What the Arch-Chancellor is trying to say is that after decades of teaching you, patience seems not so much a virtue as a life sentence. 
Oh, yes, but... There is simply no room for your kind of person in a modern university. I feel... So you leave the Arch-Chancellor no other course of action but to expel you. But it's only been 40 years. The hat. Goodbye, Mr. Rincewind. In the competitive world of wizardry, the way to the top is via dead men's pointy shoes. Even if you have to empty them yourself. Deep in its very bowels. The departure of the disc's worst wizard from the unseen university has stirred magic. Goodbye, world. Hello, 
by her yourself. I wish to be directed to an hotel tavern lodging house in hospice. I know it's happened. This way. <laughs> Sapient pear wood. The tourist luggage is no ordinary suitcase. It has absolutely no brain and a homicidal attitude towards anything that threatens its master and would follow him anywhere. A room, lodgings, are your rooms clean? A room with a view, what is your rate for one night? What is for breakfast? Where are the bathroom, sir? He's got plenty money. Oh, it'll be, um, two dollars then? Oh, and that uh, thing has to stay in the stables. Tua! Tua? Tua! 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 It is a sapient pair of uh, No. Um. It's it's a shumban right toilet trees. Toilet. May toilet. I uh, be of assistance? Oh, Shove off, friends. Wait. Ara aruhu guru. It won't work. It's the book. You see, it tells you what to say. It's magic. Isua de short chop? I. Ah, Guru. Oh, I say, I'm not toil. Toy, I am. Who could you? It's all doing, huh? I'm not to tickle, tickle. Ricky, ticky. Me what? No. Usaron rank wood pork. As un saba, un ti wash danejo in zaka. Tora sita henova. Hmm? Ah, choi, 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 choi. Usivio? Two flower. Ah, unse wanwa. Tourist. Oh, uh, eh? Ah, atayoshu, uh, rinse win. Ah, ah, too good, too good. Ah, so you're a wizard. And you speak Ankmol Tolkien. Yes. <laughs> I did a correspondence course. Oh, what's all this about, then? Oh, well, a tourist should always use his phrase book so that people will know you're one. Ah, uh -huh. and, um, is that really your luggage? Yes, and are you really a wizard? Hmm? 
Oh. <laughs> well. <laughs> I hear the famous Unseen University is a must-see. Well, I was hoping to visit it so that when I get back home, I could say that, yeah, I did that. Ah, yeah, but it's closed. <laughs> for, 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 um, <clears throat> for the exams. Oh. Where is your home? Ah, oh, have you heard of Bess Pelargic? It's the major seaport of the Agatean Empire. That's the counterweight continent, isn't it? Yes. We may be small, but we're equal in weight to all the major land masses of this hemicircle. Well, that's because the ancient legend. <laughs> it says that it's made of gold. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not made of gold. No. And gold is just a really common metal there. You might like to keep that to ourselves. Hmm? On the ass. <coughs> Who is he? He says he's a tourist. Huh? What's that mean then? I think it means idiot. <coughs> yeah. Hmm. I'm never going in now! Correct in your surmise. This is technically false coinage. I know it, I know it. I got a nose for a dumb. What do you mean technically? Well, you see, our ain't pork coins contain rather less gold than a pint of seawater. I know it! But this, my friend, is solid gold. What? I've got to get back. <clears throat> and so, the leaders of a number of the many gangs, guilds, and collections of other nefarious dirtbags or bank or pork were aware that someone had arrived in the city who appeared to have much treasure, including Imor, its greatest thief. So, no guards? No, why? What do I have that's worth stealing? Well, the trunk. I mean, there can't be more than two very small ones made of sapien pearwood in all the cities of the Circle Sea, let alone a whole box. <laughs> that, and, uh, yeah, the gold. Barely 2,000 Rhinu. Is a Rhinu one of those big gold coins? Yes. Do you think I paid the innkeeper too much? I, I, I think he might have settled for less. Well, I can see I've got a lot to learn. Mm. Mm. An idea occurs to me. Rincewind, would you perhaps consent to be employed as a, um... Oh, perhaps the word guide would fit the circumstances. I think I could afford to pay you a... a Rhinu a day? Oh, dear, I... I've offended you. It was an impertinent request. Doubtless you have works of high magic to return to. Well, 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 one of those a day. Oh, well, uh, two then? What do you want to see? Well, I want to see everything. I mean, genuine more porky in life. You know, I, I want to go to the, the slave yeah. markets and the whore pits, the temple yeah, of small yeah. gods and the beggars killed and, and a genuine tavern brawl. Ah. Well, well, well. well, no, no, no. I'm not suggesting we get involved. I just want to see it, that's all. Ah. <gasps> and some of your famous heroes, like uh. Cohen, Barbarian. <laughs> uh. You do know him. Oh, yes, yes, of course. Yeah. Good. Well, so, it's agreed? Agreed. Excellent. Be a good chap, would you? And see to it that the innkeeper shows my luggage to the room. And I insist that you take your first four days' wages in advance. Broadman, luggage, room. 
and uh, and perhaps when the exams are finished, we can get a peek at the uh, unseen university. Huh. This calls for a picture. All the best wizards have left. <laughs> See you, loser. <laughs> With them. The magic chest will come back for its owner, and with it the gold. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. We'll just have a peek. Just look over here, Rincewind, and smile. Rincewind? Hi. <laughs> The patrician, the ruler of Ankh-Morpork, may not be particularly fair or even democratic, but at least for the first time in a thousand years, the city works. This is largely because he knows where everyone is most of the time and which dissuasively vicious punishment to exact for whatever they are doing there. Oath breaking. The theft of a horse. Uh, oh no, my lord patrician, I didn't steal the horse. I paid for it fairly. Using false coinage, which is technically theft after being false coinage. What are we going to do with you, you little scamp? Yes. It's the arena for you, Vince Wind. Oh. On top of these, there is the moral obloquy attendant on the cowardly betrayal of a visitor to these shores. Shame on you, Vince Wind. Will you be requiring a sword or a spear for the arena? A sir, sir. A sir. <laughs> of course. We could be merciful. <laughs> Think we should be merciful. <laughs> Two rhino. One poly C. <laughs> Oi! That's my door! Door's fine. Why don't you join me, Zlof? The Assassin's Guild are our friends. <laughs> I've come for the tourist. I thought we had an agreement. You don't rob, and I don't kill. I'll kill him, and then you can rob him. <laughs> if anybody's going to kill him, they'll need to talk to me first. But get those dwarfs out of here! Are you? I am Ruff, and I'm here on behalf of the Guild of Merchants and Traders to protect our interests. Meaning the little man. And how long has this guild been in existence, may I ask? Since this afternoon. I am Vice Guildmaster in charge of tourism. Oh. And what is this tourism of which you speak? We're not quite sure. What's a tourist? Smile! It's magic! Ooh. 
Now I want you to listen very carefully to what I have to say. Otherwise you will die. In an interesting fashion. Over a period. Now please stop fidgeting like that. The Emperor of the Counterweight Continent has sent me a letter. It appears that one of his subjects has taken it into his head to visit our city. It appears he wishes to... look at it. You will continue to be a guide, Vincewind, to this this looker, this, this two flower. You will make sure that he returns home with a good report of our homeland. What do you say to that? You say yes. I say yes. 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 Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Yes. Yeah. Because it would be a tragedy should anything untoward happen to our visitor. It would be dreadful if the tourist were to die, for example, because the emperor looks after his own, and he could certainly extinguish us, but or not, which would be dreadful by you, Winswin, because I would hope when the Empire's huge mercenary fleet arrived, that the avenging captains would find their anger somewhat tempered by the fact that my skilled operatives had just shown you the colour of your liver. I see by your face that understanding dawns. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> oh, there's one other thing. I'm sure you wouldn't dream of trying to escape from your obligations by, say, running away. I assure you, Lord, that the thought never even crossed my mind. Indeed. Then if I were you, I would sue my face for slander. Don't let me detain you. <laughs> Ah! Hey, 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 nice throw! 
We should be leaving. Show night. Bien, le bleu. Smile. <laughs> <laughs> to be going. <laughs> Fantastic! No one at home is going to believe this. All you do is rotate the lever and the iconograph does the rest. You wait here. Oh. Still good! I ran out of red, see? If you wanted red, you shouldn't have took all those pictures of dwarves killing people, should you? It's monochrome from now on, friend. All right? Yes. Yeah. That's the picture imp. Yes, of course it is. <laughs> you know, Rincewind, I'd like to have you in the picture as well. Smile, please. Smile. Smile. What are we going to see next? <laughs> <laughs> That's my favorite, with Cohen. Can you smell oil? I don't think so. practically a sport. Mm. <laughs> so innkeepers must need a lot of, well, in my language, we call it in sewer ants. In sewer ants? That's a funny word. What's it mean? Well, say you have a tavern built of wood. Mm -hmm. Well, it might burn down. Mm -hmm. Well, you don't want that to happen, so you take out an in sewer ants poly C. See? And then I work out the odds against it burning down, and then out of it, and then you pay me some money based on those odds. Oh no. But yes. Well, then if it does burn down, I pay you the value of the tavern. Oh, it's a bit like a bet, right? Wager? Yes, I suppose it is. Ah. Are you sure you can't smell oil? No, I can smell burning. Ryan, we paid as his first premium. You bet, Rodman, but it wouldn't catch fire. 
Standard valuation, 200 Rai new. Why? Why do you ask? You, 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 idiot! Just carry on as if I'm not here, Rincewind. Your appointment is later. Who? What's next? What next? We'll be hung-grown and quartered if we stay here much longer. Why? What do you mean, why? 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 Look! The whole of eight more fog is made of wood! <laughs> what about my luggage? Bug in your luggage! Tell you what, whoever started that fire, be wise for them to find a fast horse and make themselves very scarce. Thank you very much, Tufra. It says that Cherm is lovely this time of year. Yes, very, very dangerous. Really? Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's the oil bond store going up. <laughs> Look at that over there. Oh dear God. Boy, who are you? Come back here! Last my lord! Come back! <laughs> The Octavo, greatest of all spellbooks, locked and chained deep in the cellars of the unseen university. The spells imprisoned in its pages lead a secret life of their own, and Rincewind's departure from Ag Morpork has left them deeply troubled. I can't remember it being like this before. Since that time, a young wizard. Oh dear. I've expelled him, haven't I? And nobody knows where he is, librarian. Not even the patrician's palace guard. Though they seem to think he'll turn up for some reason. Look, he's the only person in living memory who has actually touch the octavo with his bare hands. We have no idea the effect it'll have on him in the outside world. At least when he was a, a student, we knew where he was. Perhaps I've been a bit hasty. Who else knows about this? Nobody, Arch-Chancellor. Good. Let's uh, keep it that way, shall we? Oh, apart from Greyhold Spold, of course. Whose days are probably numbered anyway. On the subject of which, I haven't seen old Narrowbolt around recently. That's because he's dead, Arch-Chancellor. I'm just glad nobody wants to be head librarian. Perish the thought, Horace. And I am looking for a book. New shoes. And new hat, Mr. Tryman. Very neat and tidy. Did you know that in the event of the Arch-Chancellor's sad demise, 
he would be succeeded by Greyhold Spold. He's demonstrated remarkable powers of survival. Up to now. I think it's very important to strive for perfection, don't you? Oh, yes, sir. If you want to get to the very top, sir, yes. The uh, position of head librarian has never really appealed to you, sir? No. Oh, good. It is quite possible that the next Arch-Chancellor may well smile upon those who understand the importance of things being well organized. Is everything in order down there? Oh, absolutely. Everything is in uh, alphabetical order, in fact. as far back as I can remember. But for some reason, it's got rather lively. Why? I don't know. Who does? Greyhold Spold. Hmm? Before my time. Greyhound Spold, how convenient. a thousand paces hubwards. Hubwards. The Wormburg and Palace of the Dragon Lord lies a thousand paces rimwards. Huh. Dragons. I always want to see dragons. Dragons it is. Rinse wind! <laughs> Your lifetime is up, Rincewind. I can't hang around all day. I can. What have you done with a tourist? Nothing. He was lured by the attraction of the Wormburg. Oh, so at least the patrician won't be sending out his men to kill me just yet, then, eh? <laughs> There is a distinct possibility that he may not need to. Huh? Oh, I'm sorry. I can't help it. How would you be so kind as to let go 
It won't hurt. Being torn to pieces by wolves won't hurt. It will be over very quickly. And of course they are an endangered species. Something I said. Uh, don't think I owe you a debt of gratitude. One of the consolations of being eaten by wolves was the fact that I would never have to have a near-death experience again thanks to your owner. Dragons. <laughs> Nobody believes in them anymore. I never really wanted to be Arch-Chancellor anyway, so if you're here for... For the Octavo, Mr. Spold. You're not here to... Uh... What about the Octavo? It's rather troubled at the moment, and it seems that you might be able to tell me why. Well, <laughs> it's... Uh... Not all there, you know. As in mad? As in one spell short of eight. One of the eight spells is missing? Well, that's rather badly organized. Certainly extremely dangerous. So where is it now? Do think very carefully, Mr. Spold. I really wish I did know, Mr. Trivon.
Listen, Tibbs. If you like the physically impossible. Well, I think it's just amazing. A bit underpopulated, though. Listen, do you think it could be the home of the dragons? Don't be ridiculous. Dragons don't exist. All my life I've wanted to see dragons. Hmm? <laughs> I think that we could... Just dazed, actually. Who said that? Well, don't just lie there. Pull me out. What? Come on, come on, pull me out. You... you spoke. I'm a magic sword. You, you weren't born with a mysterious birthmark in the shape of a crown, were you? Um, no. No? No, just asking. Uh, were you with the other fellow? Might have been. It's just the, uh, dragon's got him. And so I expect you'll be in a hurry to slay the dragons and rescue him in a fantastic feat of daring do. No, not really, no. Come on. Come on. Hmm? Right. Take a firm grip. Oh, that's good. That's hard. Oh. Could be worse. This could have been an anvil. Finally! The dragon's head is upwards! Even if they did exist, I'm not cut out for dragons. Nothing to it. I'll show you! Right. I suggest we start with the one in the tree. Over there. No, you don't. Oh, you see? There's nothing there. Oh. Well, you'd start with her instead. Okay. Okay. I don't know how to be a hero. No, <laughs> obviously. But I propose to teach you. Look, I'll be frank. I've worked with far better material than you, but it's either that or I'll chop your head off. I mean it. All right, all right. Good boy. The 
is an ambitious wizard on the loose. I think a certain degree of vigilance would be in order. Especially if he's talked to Trimon. Any suggestions? Oh, well, obviously you attack. Oh, why didn't I think of that? Because you're a defeatist. On your marks, get set, go! Get <laughs> <laughs> your hand again! Did I ever tell you about the time I was thrown into a lake? <laughs> Let's have a look at you, madam. Where is the tourist? He's been taken back to the Wormberg. What is this Wormberg? The Wormberg. It is Dragon Home. They don't exist. But I suppose you'll be wanting to rescue your friend. My point precisely. He's not my friend. But I suppose you'd better take me to this Wormberg of yours. Oleth. Uh, uh, I didn't know. I didn't know dragons were see through. Didn't you? No. Watching as we get closer to the Wormberg. Oh no! That at least is very marginally better. to challenge me in mortal combat. No, no, I can't. You are mistaken. Liot, help our hero into a pair of hog boots. I am sure he is anxious to get started. Ah, no, really? Uh, no. Ah, ah. If you are looking after you my will see your friends soon enough. If you are religious, None who enter the Wormberg ever leave again. Except metaphorically speaking, of course. Oh, Mr. Tryman. Good day, Arch-Chancellor. Oh. You. New shoes and hat, huh? <laughs> well, you uh, came to see me. Yes. I've taken the liberty of doing a little research. Ah, about the Octavo, perhaps? <laughs> yes. <laughs> it appears that one of the great spells is missing. Ah. And you were wondering purely for administrative purposes where it uh, might have got to. Well, yes. <laughs> Do you know, Arch-Chancellor? <laughs> well, if I did, I think I forgot. Oh, oh, oh Spold! Oh, no, no. 
too late. He's already popped his pointy shoes, hasn't he? You know, he always had difficulty breathing even before he managed to seal himself in his own room from the outside. Yes. Great shame. How about spoke? Just clouds. Well, I expect this is all some sort of a misunderstanding. I expect they'll release me soon. They seem rather civilized. And when I get back, I can tell people that I saw dragons. Imagine that. Chancellor. Arch Chancellor. Such a great shame. Um, about. Bold, you mean? Yes. Is that all, Tryman? Yes, Arch-Chancellor. Very good. Oh, Tryman. Mr. Julia, could you tidy the sprung-heavy axe device? Some prankster student has rigged above my door. Seems to have malfunctioned. I shall have it seen to, Arch-Chancellor. And I, I do hope Spole's shoes are not too small for you. I ought to warn you that I have a magic sword. That's me. What a coincidence. Hello. Hello. Oh, no. Prepare to be defeated. I don't think so. I've seen sharper button <laughs> 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 Well, isn't it? Dragon, by the way. 
Even if you did just turn up. You summon me, master. You have the power. You mean I just thought of you and there you were? Yes. But I've thought of dragons all my life. The power only works near the Wormberg. As the dragons fly further away, we begin to dwindle and fade. All dragon lords have the power, as of course does the dragon lady Liesa, who, incidentally, is trying to hack your friend to pieces as we speak. What? Shoot him! <laughs> very edge of the world, the Krullians have not given up on their quest to determine the sex of the turtle. Are the Chelonauts ready, Launch Controller? Indeed, Art Astronomer. How long to the doorway? The launch window, your prominence, sir. 12 hours when Great Artuin's tail will be in an unmatched position to determine its sex. And all that remains is to find an appropriate couple of sacrifices. The ocean shall provide. It always does. Look at the horizon. It's all right. There seems to be a lot less than there usually is. We're being carried over the edge. You. Oh.
but a book to read. I don't want to leave this world! A prospect immensely troubling to the Octava. It's you. I just came to see Arch-Chancellor Weatherwax. Do you have an appointment? I've never needed an appointment before. Well, the Arch-Chancellor has never been organized before. It's just... Look. The Arch-Chancellor is going to have been very ill quite soon and mustn't be disturbed. <laughs> Smell burning. It's smoking my sleep. Yeah. I could have sworn I was wearing my shoes. Why don't you come with me instead? There's something I know you really want to show me. around with it till who knows what will happen. The last person who went near it. Yes. Well, it was a long time ago. All I'm saying is he never passed any exams after. <laughs> ah. As a matter of interest, after the last time, what exactly did they do to Rinse Wind? I never said anything about Rinse Wind. Rinse Wind? <laughs> did I say Rinse Wind? I meant whichever perpetual student wizard it was who monkeyed around with the Octavo. Rinse Wind. So, when the spell left the Octavo. Where exactly did it go? Get off, will you? Are you saying you want me to stop? Yeah, stop, will you? Stop saving your life? It's actually twice now. Oh, oh, thank you. Say again? I said thank you! Ah. Ah. Stop that! Will you stop that? Look a polite shake of the hand! Having first checked the poison needles in the palm, in that old quaint and more Porkian tradition, would be sufficient. <laughs> I'm on the edge of the world, seeing things that most people can only dream of. On an adventure with visions and wonders unimaginable in one lifetime. It's all thanks to you, Rincewin. Uh, you forgot the near-death experiences. Well, I like to think of them as edge-of-life ones, with the best guide little old insure ants clerk from Best Pelagia could ever hope for. <laughs> well, I would have been fine, of course. <laughs> Even falling from the worm bird. 
because uh, a stop fully to certain death is only a level two spell. Actually, I was sort of hoping that you could do some, you know, what magic. Like what? Um, in a fight, you could turn people into worms. Ah, no, no, no. Turning people into animals is an eighth level spell. Yeah. I never really completed my training. I only know one spell. And even that I got by accident. What does it do? Dunno. I suppose it could do anything. But it's from the greatest spell book of all. The Octavo. The Octavo? Well... How did you learn it? When I was a much younger student at the university, I agreed to open the Octavo for a bet. A pint of beer, I think it was. It was as if it was waiting for me. Before the spell leapt from the book and set in my memory like a toad in a stone. Well, then what happened? Well, they dragged me out and thrashed me, of course. Never did get the pint of beer. Well, what do the spell say exactly? It had vanished from the page. So nobody will know what it said until I say it. Or until I die, of course, and then it'll sort of say itself. And nobody knows what, what it, it does. does. To know that, you'd need to be Arch-Chancellor. Now you tell me. go over the edge because our log hit that rope I think it's called the circumference it runs around the edge of the world no no you mean the circumference the circumference goes around the edge of things hmm. so does the circumference That's the Rimbo. It's just so beautiful. Great. It's a nice view before we die. Do you see the eighth color? That's the color of magic. Quite a number. Look, there's one. Oh. Hey, that star is new. Perhaps we should name it. What's <laughs> the point? Who will we tell? We're never going to get off this rock. Unless we get in the boat. Well, unless we get in the what boat? That boat. Of course, I could stay here forever. I mean... On balance, I know I should be very suspicious of that boat, 
but I do like the idea of getting back to dry land. Uh, are you sure? I'm sure. You're still here, Arch-Chancellor. Do you know what happens when a wizard dies? All the spells that he has memorized say themselves. It's one of the first things we learn. Hmm. It's not quite true with the eight great spells. A great spell will simply find refuge in the nearest mine ready and open to receive it. Hmm. Obama's it. Non Multo said Obama's it. Take a while to get there and kill Rincewind. Then the spell will immediately return along the ionized path. Back here to me. Remarkable. If, dare I say, a little old fashioned. But it's what happens when all eight spells are spoken together that might interest a wizard now, is it not? Especially when they aspire to wear the big shoes of all. Oh, becoming your second has always been the limit of my ambition. Yes, of course it has. I wish only to acquire knowledge, Master. Which, as we know, is power. And so, for the furtherance of my knowledge, Master, when the eight spells are set together... <laughs> oh, to receive that ultimate nugget, you'll have to do much better than that, young man. <laughs> oh, I congratulate you, Master. I can see that we must all get up very early in the morning if we are to get the better of you. <laughs> early in the morning? My dear lad, you will have to stay up all night. Come! It's the Octavo. It's going really deep. Right. What's going on here? Why are the spells so restless? The key. Civilization. Yes, it looks like civilization to be. Welcome to Crumb. 
My name is Marchesa. I hope you're not proposing to enslave us. Certainly not. Oh, good. You will in fact be sacrificed. Thank you for another fine mess, Two Flower. Yeah! Ah! Oh! Oh! Completely trapped in a palace on an island, we have no hope of leaving. And what's more, we. Who's going to be wearing those suits? Someone who isn't going to be sacrificed. That's who. Chelonians and astrozoologists in their quest for knowledge of the great Atuin. If you said we had no way of escaping. Just keep walking. We'll never know it's us. <laughs> but I wasn't expecting an audience. <laughs> Get a chance, we'll make a run for it, okay? But never has the bravery of those who laid down their lives before in the pursuit of the answer to the ultimate question of the sex of the turtle been more valid by those who today venture forth to certain death. Depths. Depths. These two specially trained, highly skilled Chelanots will be honored by the Chroniclers of Kral. Is there a toilet in this suit? I don't think so. It's just that I think I need to boldly go. I give you... Heroes! Not just of Kral, but of the galaxy! Do you? 
Librarian? Steps over. Eight thousand, eight hundred, and eighty-eight. Oh. 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 What was that? It doesn't seem to want to go. What? Oh. 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 That's it. I fixed it. Fixed what? Oh. We gotta get off this thing! Two, one.
I've not seen that one before. I don't know the significance of the star, but that, that mist, is important. So, what's happening? I fear the only way to find out exactly is to perform the rite of Ashkente. Thank you, Arch-Chancellor. is a change spell created by the Octavo. The whole world is changing. For the better, I think. Has anybody seen the Arch-Chancellor? Yes. And how can I help you? Currently, Tufla, the Discworld's first tourist, is rapidly leaving it in an attempt to escape Kral. This attempt has been 1,000% successful. Although this means he may also be the Disc's last tourist, he is enjoying the view. Meanwhile, some way above Tufla, Rincewind isn't enjoying the view at all. Only Great Atuan, the World Turtle, knows why it's heading towards the star. Those on the disc are due to find out in about two days, and then they're really going to worry. The Octavo, the greatest spellbook of all, is so worried about all this that it must take action of its own.
Did I just leave the world only to land back on it again? Yes, you did. Oh, why? Why, why? We're not going anywhere. Look at that. Uh, uh, is that me? Or is that getting bigger? Uh. There's a turtle! Going straight towards it, I ask you! The wizards say we always miss the stars. But has anyone seen one get this close before? Where are the wizards when we need them? One small step for a wizard into the unseen. One giant leap for the unseen university. Would the student body please acknowledge the 305th Arch-Chancellor? Let it be known that although limited personnel alterations have been made, one or two other significant things will be changing for the tidier. As none of us have received guidance as to the events of this morning, and there seems to be a degree of quite unnecessary anxiety amongst the populace about the star. I propose that we perform the rite of Ash Kenjay. After its own space odyssey, many miles from Ankh Morpork in the Vortex Plains, the luggage has plans of its own. I said, our guest whose name is Legend. Must tell us truly, what is it that a man may call the greatest things in life? The crisp horizon of the steppe, the wind in your hair, a fresh horse underneath you. Or is it the sight of your enemy slain, the humiliation of his tribe, and the lamentation of his women? <laughs> What you say? I said, our guest, whose name is Legend, must tell us uh, truly. Okay. Hot water, good dentistry, and soft laboratory paper. Demonia, Ash Kante, rise up 
O creature of earth and darkness! We do charge thee to abjure from... I was at a party, you know. It is said that you can see both the past and the future. Correct. Then perhaps you can tell us, why is the Red Star getting bigger? Because the turtle is flying towards it. Why? For a purpose that has nothing to do with me. Then, perhaps you can tell us, what exactly happened this morning? I understand that the Octava was anxious not to lose the eighth spell. Hold on. It was dropping off the disc, apparently. Hold on. Are we talking about the spell that is inside the head of Rincewind? Had he been carrying around all these years? Yes. Any idea why? All I know is that all the spells had to be said together at Solstice, or many worlds will be destroyed. Destroyed? It's an ancient prophecy written on the inner walls of the Great Pyramid of Sort. Can you tell us where Rincewind is now? The forest of Skund, rimwoods of the Ram Top Mountains, feeling very sorry for himself. Hello? Anybody out there? Blue Flower? Oh. Now, may I go? Oh, yes. I hope it's a good party. I think it might go downhill at midnight. Why? That's when they'll be taking my mask off. I'm looking for anything we've got on the Pyramid of Zort. Oh. <coughs> yes. Thank you. <laughs> Whoever says all the spells together when the disc is in danger... Walk! 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 Yes, yes, the star, I know. Will gain ultimate power. Walk! Walk! To save the worlds. Yes. And that. Now, listen. If you were to book this to any members of the faculty, you will be disciplined. It's not as if bananas grow on trees. As much as it pains me to say this, Rincewind must not die. At least, not until we bring him back here. empty his head.
Rincewind! Go away! Go away! Rincewind! I'm not listening! I'm not listening! It's me, Two Flower! He's dead! And he's inside my head! Oh, why me? Why me? What? Two Flower? Isn't it an amazing thing that we ended up back on the world? I must have done something really bad to have got stuck with you. The turtle must have caught us somehow. Why would it do that? I don't know, do I? Anyway, where are we? Alive or dead? Well, since we need him to say the spell in order to save the worlds, I suspect alive might be better. Save the worlds? What does that mean? I don't know. But as long as one of the worlds he saves is ours, I shall consider it a most satisfactory outcome. Like they're gonna have a ceremony an ancient and traditional ritual probably dating back thousands of years to celebrate the um the um look all that golden bow and cycle of nature stuff just boils down to sex and violence usually both at the same time i think we ought to be going oh come on let's go I had my picture box. Oh, there you are. It's very loyal. Yes, if loyalty is what you look for in a suitcase. Now come on, look, we ought to leave. I don't think so. Look, you're not going to like this next bit, I promise you. No, no, I want to stay. I think ceremonies like this hark back to a primitive simplicity which... If you must know, they're going to sacrifice her. What? Kill her? Well, it wouldn't be much of a sacrifice if they didn't, would it? Uh, couldn't they just use flowers and berries and things, you know, sort of symbolic? Look, no self-respecting high priest is going to go through all the business of trumpets and processions and then shove his knife in a daffodil and a couple of plums, is he? Get out of here, come on. You quack. No, really, honestly, please. Um, I say there... Yes, I say, may I have a word there, sir? Um, I'm sorry to intrude. I, I don't mean to be a father, but I was just there and I saw what looks to be a lovely enterprise you have here. But... The purpose. I just wonder if you'd reconsider for a moment the idea of sacrifice. Tell me what that other idiot is doing, or you wish a dead man. You see, I can't. You, you can't bring her back. You see, the, with, with the blood and the white dress, and it just. His name is Two Flower, and he's not from these parts. Doesn't look like it. You know. What I'm looking for is the box full of treasure with the legend. And, and, and leave the, you know, more symbolism, less blood, and nobody actually dies. Oh, hello. Oh, oh stop! Stop! Oh, look, it's getting bigger. <laughs> you ever done this sort of thing before? What sort of thing? Rushed into a temple, 
killed the priests, stolen the gold, and rescued the girl. Um, not in too many words, no. You do it like this. <laughs> Why do people always go and spoil things? Um, you've just been saved from absolutely certain death. It's not easy around here, you know. I mean, keeping yourself. I mean, staying. I mean, not letting yourself. I'm not losing your qualifications. Qualifications? I could have been out there with the moon goddess by now, drinking mead out of a silver bowl. Eight years of staying at home on Saturday nights just right down the drain. Oh. Well. I wake up, please? No. You have a very important task ahead of you. Oh, good. Rinse wind! Rinse wind? Are you in there? There's not even a flesh wound. Rinse wind! Can you hear me, Rinse wind? What's up with the girl? She won't let us rescue her. Look at that. Just lie there, you jaff cow. Help me up. Are you sure you can't hear me in there, Rinse Wind? Rinse Wind! Rinse Wind! Many years ago, we arranged for one of our number to hide in your head. Who are we? Exactly. We are the seven spells, and our task is to see that nothing dreadful happens to the eighth. It is most important that you don't let the wizards take the spell from you. All eight spells must be said at the right time, or terrible things will happen. And they mustn't be said by the wrong people. The wizards. Precisely. Am I in the octave? In certain metaphysical respects, yes. <laughs> Why are you screaming? Yes, why are you screaming? I'm inside a bloody book, talking to voices I can't see. You ask me why I'm screaming? Look, it's very important you safeguard the spell in your head and bring it back to us at the university in time for the solstice. So when the moment is precisely right, we can be said. Why should anyone want to say you? It's the star. You see, the turtle is heading towards no, 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 stop, 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 stop! You've totally ruined my life, you do realise that, don't you? I could have really made it as a wizard if you hadn't used me as a portable spell book. I can't remember any other spells because they're all too frightened to be in the same head as you. You're going to like this, then. As soon as the spell is said, you'll be rid of it. And us forever. <laughs> When's the solstice? Hey. Oh, uh, uh, two days' time, I think. <gasps> We've got to go. Right now. Well, won't the druids be celebrating the solstice here? Probably not. What? Are you sure? Because I'd really like to stay here. Yes. But Ankh Morpork is the place to be on Solstice. Oh, Rincewind, if we're not going to be oh, here... Oh, to then... feel the cobbles under your feet and the old familiar smell of the cesspits. They're at their very best this time of year. Well, the place that I feel I really miss I is I want seeing. to take you home. 
home to the potatoes they sell at the fried fish stall, at the junction of the street of cunning artificers and Midden Street. Yeah, potatoes. Rincewind, this was a lovely fight, <laughs> but what I really want to see is the temple at Belsham Harad. Potatoes, I hear you calling. What did you say? I want to see the temple of Belsham Harad. Not the home of the giant terrifying spider from which no one has ever returned alive. That's the one. Oh, right. Ah, of course. The river Snarl runs right past it. Well, that settles it then. On our way to the solstice celebrations at Ankh Morpork. I can hear the potatoes calling. Ah. Uh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> right. I don't like the sound of that. What shall we do? Pelly? That's him! Wizards! Panic! They come to celebrate the solstice? Quick! In there! Rincewind! Hey! They know you! Don't you surround it! You come back with us to see Arch-Chancellor Tryman! And everything will be all right. You have his word. It's nice they want you back. No, it isn't. Even by wizard standard, Trimon is a nasty piece of work. Now we can do this the easy way. Or we can do this a very easy way. What's the easy way? You come out not covered in burning leaf mold. What's the very easy way? We set fire to the sacrificial pyre. Were you in it? How do you think it went? Well, if that star is an omen, it looks like we're all going to die. Well, we should name it now, then. <laughs> Might as well. Well, how about uh, the Death Star? I don't be daft. What sort of name is that? The Death Star. <laughs> Who cast that spell? You didn't see that Trimon out there, did you? Trimon? No, why? Well, for a minute there, I thought we were in trouble. <laughs> Without Rincewind's spell, there's nothing we can do about it. I've looked into the mirror of oversight. Last night, I sought him out in the runes and hall. Yeah, may, may I make it clear that I tried both the runes and the mirror and the entrails of the Manny Creek? Any good? So nobody knows where he is now? No. In times of crisis, one must be wise. And wise men 
do what the times demand. Two flower, two flower, come on, wake up. We've got to go. All right, if that's the way you want it. Let me rest me back. Two flower. Oh. Oh. Uh, wakey, wakey. Oh. Come along now. There's, you in there? There's some <laughs> liniment stuff in the saddlebag, if you wouldn't mind. <laughs> Who are you? Cohen is my name. Cohen the Barbarian? The very shame. Oh, hang on, hang on. Cohen is a great big chap, neck like a bull. Chest muscles like a sack full of footballs. He's the disc's greatest warrior. I mean, he's a legend in his own lifetime. <laughs> My grandfather used to tell me... Yes. That's right, boy. I'm a lifetime in my own legend. You are the greatest. Bard uh, still sings songs about you. I never get any royalties. That's the saga of my life. Look at 80 me. years in the business and what have I got to show for it? Backache, oh, piles, bad digestion, and a hundred different recipes for soup. Soup, I hate soup. Soup? Soup. It's my teeth, you see. No one takes you seriously when you've got no teeth. They say, sit by the fire, Grandad, and have some soup. <laughs> <laughs> That's a nasty cough you've got there, Mike. Yes, yes, I know. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's just the time. Cap, wait up! He's gone. Was oh, dead? Well... I've got to get him back to Ankh Morpork. Well, he's, he's not exactly dead. He can't die. The patrician will kill me. He's just gone. He's gone? Where? Can't I get him back? I don't know, but I think I know someone who might have a map. A necromancer. What's necromancy? No necromancy is talking to the dead. Hmm. Of course, I don't believe in caro cards. I mean, all that stuff about it being dissolved wisdom from the universe. <laughs> A lot of old rubbish. The stars. <laughs> It's nothing to do with me. Four of elephants. The ace of turtles. Death. Oh. Is he really dead? Oh. A sort of medicine. So if you want to see your friend in this world again, I should drink it if I were you. Well, if you're sure it's okay. Can't make the beer taste any worse, can it? Hmm? <laughs> Well, he did take a spell for me, so here it goes.
Well, actually, it doesn't taste too bad. Sitting by the fire, I know you. You'll be sitting by the fire permanently if we don't get out of here. Uh, wait, come on. Oh, I do hope huh? you're not going. I so uh, seldom have company. We we really mustn't keep you. Get ready to run. Oh, but. I've never been at Death's door before. Don't look back! Don't look back! I must look back! There are worse things than being dead, you know. I might as well install a revolving door. If I've got time. Prince Wind. Uh, oh. Oh. Hello. Hello. But did I move at all? No. You just looked at the fire as if you'd seen a ghost. Oh, you're alive. <sighs> But no thanks to yourself, mister. Would you like some berries while you stick your sickle in my head? Hey, ha! No hugging. I do not hug. Oh, oh my head. You've been ill. You've been hallucinating. Mm. Well, if I've been hallucinating, I bet I took some great pictures. Ah, no. No, no, no. You can't. No picture the horse people are very superstitious. I'll put this in the luggage for you. We better not be going somewhere next when we need too much black. He was like that. It was a little cottage and everything. You see what you see, I paint what I see, and I only see what's really there, see? <laughs> Um, what happened to old Golda's chair, the one with lion arms and the duck's feet? Oh, that. I had it burnt. But it was a priceless magical artifact. A genuine piece of... No. 
May I draw your attention to the agenda? What does a agenda do? It's simply a list of things that we need to discuss. Top of which is the matter of Rincewind. And the star. People are agitating, you know. That is item number two on the agenda. Item number one is the fact that you have failed to find him. So what are you suggesting we do about it? I'm not suggesting anything. I've sent someone to find him. Who? A hero. On whose authority? Mine. I need no other. You've hired a bloodthirsty idiot who can't walk and think at the same time. How can you take anyone seriously? The hero, even at this moment galloping towards the Vortex Plains, doesn't get involved in trading insults with wizards. Not just because they don't take it seriously, but because this particular hero is in fact a heroine named Harena. The horse people have decided... They hold Cohen in the highest regard. Cohen? The barbarian? I was going to mention that. But back in Egg Morpork, you said that... I lied. The horse people have decided to give you mounts and directions to the River Snarl, where you can catch a ferry back to the Circle She. You lie? Yeah. Ah, well, I, um, like to thank you very much because you've been most helpful, uh, and it will be very, um, different without you. Y you don't wish us to accompany you? No, no, we'll be fine. These are dangerous times. Yes, I know, but, um... I'm beginning to cope very well with these near-death experiences. I just moment. can't believe it's Cohen, the barbarian. Is he perhaps being sarcastic? No, no, he's always like that. He's got eyes, hasn't he? Yes, but, um, he doesn't see things as other people do. See, take this yurt. For example, it's, uh, well, it's dark and greasy and smells like a very ill horse. Yes. <laughs> yes, but he would say that it smells like the curious and rare resins plundered by lean-eyed warriors from the age of civilization, you know, and so on and so on. Well, he, he single-handedly defeated the, uh, the, 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 the snake w uh, warriors or the, the witch I could of, tell uh, him to Sabine. shut up. Yeah, no, he did. I'm, and he apparently... No, I, I like his eyes. They can see for 50 years. I shall accompany you for the reason that if anything should happen to you, the legend would be besmirched. But also on account of me, kill Blanche. I'm coming too. <laughs> In case Cohen needs anything rubbed. <clears throat> Everybody look at me. I don't know what it is. It, um, it's probably a comet or something. I wonder if it's a sign. Will we be burned up? Well, how the hell would I know? I've never been hit by a comet before, have I? Walk on. Have you combed your beard? Hey. <laughs> I think she's taken a bit of a shine to you. <laughs> if I was 20 years younger... Yes? I'd be 67. Me, riding with Cohen the Barbarian. Who could possibly attack us now?
a hundred miles rimwards to the river Snarl, across the high plains and down to the gloomy pine forest that lies rather closer than is comfortable to the Troll Bone Mountains. The clue is in the title. Did we really have to stop here? The river Snarl can't be that far away. The ferryman doesn't work at night, so we might as well get some rest. Besides, my feet are killing me. You'd have quite nice feet if only you looked after them. Mm. You don't get to meet many chiropodists in my line of work. I've met any amount of snake priests, mad gods, warlords, never any chiropodists. I suppose it wouldn't look right, really. Coin against the chiropodists. <laughs> or Cohen in the chiropractors of doom. <laughs> <laughs> or Cohen and the mad dentists. <laughs> What's funny about that? Oh, uh... Nothing in particular. No, I don't blame you. It's hard being a hero when you've got no teeth. Don't matter what else you lose. You can get by with one eye, even, but... Show my mouth full of gums and no one has any respect. I do. Why don't you have a new pair made for yourself? Well... I do have trouble masticating. Huh? huh? I beg your pardon. You know, chewing. Oh, yeah, chewy. Uh. They're called den chewers. Dine chewers? Dentures. Lots of people wear them where I'm from. Well, and, and they don't just have to eat soup? No! <laughs> that has to rank as the most pathetically easy ambush in Swordswoman history. I've no idea why you're so important. Important? To who? The wizards. The wizards? At the Unseen University. For some reason, they want me to take you back. It's a short ride hubwards to the ferry at the River Snarl. Mm. From there, we'll be at Antmore Port by morning. Excuse me. Yes? Well, do you think we could drop by the Temple of Belshamroth on the way? Only if you want to ride a thousand miles rimwards in the wrong direction. You mean you can't reach the Temple of Belshamaroth by the River Snarl? No, of course not. Oh. Well, at least we'll be in Ankh Morport for the special solstice celebrations then. Oh, yes. What special solstice celebrations? Never heard of them. So my guy wasn't going to take me to Belshamaroth at all, was he? No. It was too dangerous. Do you want half your money back? Do you want all your money back? Look, it's not about money. We're supposed to be friends. We shook on it. Look, if you must know the truth, I only agreed to be your guide because the patrician of Ankh Morpork said he'd do unspeakable things to me if, if I didn't. So there you have it. Thank you for being honest. Well... They don't even celebrate the solstice in Ankh Port, do they? No. And I'm probably the worst wizard this side of the Circle Sea. And I thought everything was going so well. Well, you thought wrong. Danger and the fire stays. Don't try to distract me. No, Richard. You've obviously never heard of the legend of Old Grandad. Yes, I knew he was around here somewhere. When a troll gets older, there are trolls. He gets bigger and bigger. And this is a very old troll. Everyone knows trolls keep away from fire. But this specific troll can't. Can't? Can't. No, because you've lit the fire on his Get up, you silly cat! 
If complete and utter chaos was lightning, then being tied to you is like standing on a hilltop in a thunderstorm, wearing a wet copper armor and shouting, all gods are idiots. Thank you. It wasn't a compliment. Oh. Come on, let's stand up. <sighs> <sighs> Well, I'm off to see Bel Shamharoth. Good luck, and I hope the spider eats you and solve the patrician. I'm going home to ank more pork. Fine, fine. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Happy now? I don't want to talk about it. We're going to eat more pork. This isn't exactly what I had in mind. Hmm. Is it just me? Or does that look rather like a very large... Target. Is the arch chancellor is just not a team player. There is, of course, the tradition of dead men's pointy shoes. You mean, create a vacancy in the Arch Chancellor's department, sort of thing? Very well. We need a volunteer. Anyone? Anyone? Everyone, then. <laughs> You're not the usual ferryman. I've been here before. The usual man is a big fellow. Okay. Two of you, grab him. Jeff Kill. <laughs> Get out, you. Shut up. Let's see what's under that robe. <laughs> Wait. 
where you're from. And there's nothing personal about this, you understand. <laughs> My father used to recommend hanging from a door. Mm. We really ought to be going. I don't suppose you'd be interested in selling the luggage? Oh, no, I couldn't possibly do that. I was looking for a present for Bethan, you see. We're getting married. That's great. We thought you ought to be the first to know. <laughs> That's fair, yeah. Mm. This is cause for celebration. I, I'm pretty sure that I have some travel biscuits and, and water in my luggage. You uh, were serious about getting married? Any objections? Oh, no, 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 no. No, I was just thinking, uh, you know, that she's... Um, in her twenties, and you uh, of the elderly persuasion. Time I settle down, you mean? No, I was uh, thinking more of the um, physically uh, the age difference about. Ah, um, uh, uh, see what mm -hmm. you mean? The strain. I, I looked at it right now. I hope I haven't upset anything. Oh, no, 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 don't apologize, Stuart. Right to point it out. No, sometimes you just have to take risks. Now, don't be offended, but I think we'll go ahead with the wedding anyway, and, uh, well, just have to hope she's strong enough. Will we get to Ankh-Morpork by dawn? Absolutely. Right. Who wants to learn how to row a ferry to Ankh Morpork? <laughs> The reason that I have gathered you here today is to announce that there will be a meeting with an agenda with just one item on it. Uh, an agendum. I'm sorry? We're assuming that this must be to do with the news that your hero has failed to capture Rincewind. I don't recall you being minuted to talk. There will be a meeting to consult the Octavo. With only seven spells. Are you sure that's wise, Arch-Chancellor? We have gone beyond. Wisdom. Hank Morpork. Pearl among cities. There's no city in the multiverse that can rival Hank Morpork or its smell. Ah. Oh, come on. This is what I've been looking for. We'll join you shortly. What, the jewelers? It's a surprise. You wait here, Bethany. 
Excuse me. Why is everyone leaving? The star is gonna crash into the things. We're all gonna burn up and die. The star is life, not dead. What? 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 Your voice—it just went all crackly. It didn't sound like you. It's the spell. It's trying to take me over. It knows what's going to happen. Well, why are they painting all the stars? Do they think it'll ward it off or something? No, that's not going to work. I think I know what will. Come on. It's massive. Move! Strangest thing I've ever made. But practical. I'll give you that. What did you say they were called again? Dentures. Made from trolls' teeth. <laughs> this is better, my betrothed. Is there anywhere around here where I can get a wedding dress? <laughs> and a stick. What what are you what are you doing? Ridding the disc of wickedness. That's the Necro Telecomnicon. Yes. Wizards use it to contact the dead. How did you know that? Uh, oh, uh, I just, uh, you know, just, just, just guessed. You've got the big box on Lex. And he looks like a wizard. A wizard. Wizard? Yes, you're a wizard. The no, act like it. Act like it. Yeah. Yeah. Wait. Right. Stand back, or I'll fill you full of magic. All the magic's gone. Star is taking it away. I mean it. Asante, Harucha, Beelzebub. Luggage. Where's your luggage? Well, I often don't know where my luggage is. That's what being a tourist is all about. Uh, right. I have uh, a wizard, uh, and I'm not afraid to use him. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Oh, 
don't know they're not spots they're there they are they're things 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 that go round the round the star like the sun goes round around the disc and they're, they're closer because because, because, because they're definitely because. spots yeah okay. come on ah, people. all right come on let's go Lower cellars are this way. <laughs> Anything that wheezes like that can't possibly be dangerous. Don't look back. Is anyone out there? Please. Hello? Who's that? Yes, that's right. It's Rinswind. Rinswind. Did you bring the spell? Uh, yeah. Who, who's in there? The masters of wizardry. <gasps> the masters. Why are you in there? We got locked in. What with the Octavo? The Octavo, in fact, is not here. Oh. Oh, hey. Now, look. This is going to need a bit of magic, so be a good fellow. Run along and find a wizard, would you? But look and find a wizard. All right. Stand back. Find something to hide behind. <laughs> what for? Oh, he means it. When you see that vein bulging in his forehead, he's serious. Will you shut up? That. Oh, very well. <laughs> 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 Did you see Trimon on the way down here? No. Why? Because he's stolen the Octavo. Oh, him. I always said he'd go a long way. And he'll go a lot further if he opens that book. Why? What will happen? Well, one mind can't hold all the spells. It'll break down and leave a hole in his head. Um, no. In the fabric of the universe. He might think he can control it by himself, but... But he hasn't got the spell in your head. So we... <laughs> What's trying to come through up there? What do you propose to do about it? Oh, we said it's all over, do you see? You can't put the spells back in the book. You can't unsay what has been said. You can try!
understand. There's unimaginable horrors up there. I've always wanted to do something like this. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is an adventure, isn't it? You are definitely mad. It stopped. read the spells successfully too i think we should go up and um congratulate him congratulate him when you're advanced in the craft lad you'll find there are times when the important thing is success well that's no way to treat a book the spine's bent right back right. give me that a laugh am i <laughs> I've advanced in the craft, eh? I've only been walking around for years with one of the greatest spells in my head and didn't go totally insane, did I? No, you didn't. Where are the other wizards? Ah, Rincewind. Join us, won't you? Try and take it. And I don't think you can. Oh. But I only have to kill you. <laughs> and it is mine.
suppose they're the spouse. Two flower. Yes? Is that... Is that you, Rincewind? Yes. And I want you to do something very important for me, Two Fleur. Yes, I'm... I'm ready. What is it you want me to do? I want you to come over here and help me up before my hand slips off its stone. I'm glad you're alive. Yes, yeah, so am I. Yes. Could you... Could you now help me out? It might be a little difficult. Why? What are you holding on to? To you. <laughs> besides me. What do you mean, besides you? Uh, oh, bugger. I don't know why it is. But ever since I've met you, I've spent a lot of my time hanging on by my fingertips over certain depths. Have you noticed that? <sighs> oh, oh, it's you! Uh -huh. Oh, no, not again! No, no, no! just had another near rinse-wind experience. A little bit earlier would have been nice. Statues. No one can see them, mind you. Can't say they're up to much. Very poor work.
get a picture of this. I might forget. How could you ever forget? It's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen in my life. Got it! That's old two flower for you. He just appreciates beauty in his own way. I mean, if a poet sees a daffodil, he stares at it and then writes a long poem. But Two Flower would wander off and buy a book on botany, and then, as he reads it, he would tread on the daffodil. <laughs> Sea of gold. Golden syrup, more like. <laughs> that is a nice dramatic ending. But life doesn't work like that. And there are other things that have to happen. There is the Octavo, for example. And many of the observers realize that dropping towards them is the single most magical thing on the Discord. <laughs> Right, come on. Oh, dear. It's better off in there, anyway. Come on. Later, Two Flower did ask the luggage what it had done with the Octavo, but its expression could only be described as... What are they doing now? Wooden. Oh, they're trying to open the luggage. Come on! Oh, <sighs> it's a nice day. Hair like wine. Rinsman, I've decided you that know, I'm... I think I might re-enroll. I think I can make a good go of this magic thing and graduate very well. Because they do say that if it's summer come lade, then the living is easy. <laughs> well, that's good. And of because course, I... there's plenty of room up top now that uh, the big boys are on doorstep duty. Will they be able to be turned back? <laughs> Probably not. Will they be able to do something with Charmoy? Yes. they make a very nice rockery. <laughs> go on. You go and sort this all out. Ooh. I think I could do very well with this magic lock. The thing is, Rinsen, I'm going home. And a sharp lad who's had some experience of the world, could quite easily... Sorry, what did you say? I said I'm going home. What home? Home, home. Back across the sea where I live, you know. Oh. See, it occurred to me last night, all this traveling and seeing things is, is fine, but there's a lot of fun to be had in having been. You know, I'm putting your pictures in a book and... Remembering things. There is. Oh, yeah. And, and the important thing about having a lot of things to remember is that you have to have some place to go afterwards where you can remember them. You see, you haven't really been anywhere until you've got back home. Oh, good. Well, if that's the way you see it, where are you going? Today, I think, there's bound to be a 
Ship going part of the way. Yes, I... I expect so. Well, that settles it then. He'll drop me at the Brown Islands and I can easily get a ship from there. Oh, well, great. <clears throat> oh, you found a priest then? Yes. And Cohen didn't even try to kill him for his valuables. <laughs> it's a great dress. Thank you. I stole it myself. Look, this is for you two. I know it can be expensive setting up home for the first time. For a small kingdom, even. <laughs> I've also thought about something I can give you. <laughs> we really know you, you, you don't have to, um... <laughs> it's all yours. I don't need it anymore, and won't really fit on my wardrobe. What? The luggage. Don't you want it? Ooh! Luggage! <laughs> ah! Ah! Yes, I... Um, I, um... But it's yours! Yours, it, it follows you, it won't follow me. Ah. Oh. Luggage? This is Rincewin. You're his now, right? It doesn't really belong to anyone but itself, really. Yes. Well, I guess this is it. Yes. Goodbye, Rincewind. When I get home, I'll send you a postcard or something. Sir, someone here is bound to know where I am. Yeah. Well, I guess that's about it then. Yes, it's about it, right enough. to yourself. You understand? I said I don't want you. Go on. Go away.
So, does that mean the star turtle's female, then? Well, in my opinion, it's all a question of perspective.